usually when we speak of mathematics, we don't immediately consider the research aspect. Can you tell us about the research component in the MSc in mathematics? Okay, well, I am an applied mathematician, so we have several different topics on applied maths that you might be surprised about. I have, um, there's one student that we have right now that's doing mathematical models in crime. You know, crime is a problem in the country, and actually it can be studied from a mathematical perspective, looking at it like a, a disease that's infecting the population and spreading through the population. So with a mathematical model of a disease spread, or as a predator-prey system where the police is trying to capture the criminal, uh, these are models that we have studied and we've actually taken data that's available through the police service and tried to form a model to try to predict what are the best measures to stop crime? Instead of just this bikey by, you know, I'm going to go and purchase more vehicles, I'm going to go and purchase, get more policemen. You know, sometimes you have to look at the problem from an academic point of view instead of just spending money. Yeah, so for zero cost, we were able to come up with some ideas. So it's quite interesting, you know, that one project. And we have other projects that um, there's another student who's studying a football to see what is the best kind of football that you could make for the Caribbean. So that all has to do with the pattern, the way that the, the ball is made, the pattern on the outside of the ball, how it moves in the air and so forth. And we have people doing traditional projects too in areas of fluid mechanics. We have areas in statistics as well that um, people are looking at the correlation between how people do at CSEC level and then when they come into the university and to see if there's any kind of an effect on, you know, on, on what um, grades they had before and how they do when they're in here.